The ancient upper town is perched on a hill. On the hillside, there's a garden that looks like the setting for a dark fairy tale. A century ago, it was the most sumptuous private garden in the city. These steps were climbed by the richest and most noble citizens of Zagreb. They lead to Visoka Ulica, or High Street. The house with the garden is Palace Gvozdanovic. The plot connects the upper town with the park of Tushkanac. Once the renovation is finished, tourists will be able to pass through the house. This great idea will be a part of the concept of private Zagreb, organized by the city as a tour of several private houses. The last owner was Anka Gvozdanovic, who was a gifted pianist, but held only private concerts. The cream of the upper town gathered here for tea, dinners, concerts or balls. Anka gave the palace as a gift to the city in 1966. What tourists might find particularly interesting is the fact that almost all the objects here still stand in the places where they were put by their owner. The house reflects the taste of Anka Gvozdanovic, who wanted to give a different feel to each room. The blue salon has Rococo and Louis XVI furniture. It is a mixed bag, but she managed to create a pleasant atmosphere with the basic colours of blue and gold. The red salon is furnished in empire style. The green salon has neo-baroque furniture from the 1860s. The portraits on the wall depict the masters of the house. The bedroom is furnished in neo-renaissance style. Today, there is a gathering here. It is the announcement of the second concert season in the palace. This year, the Gvozdanovic Music Salon welcomes four young artists who are linked to the Academy of Music. We are very happy that this season, for the first time after 1967, the pianist Zinka Ivancic will be able to play on the restored piano from the collection of Anka Gvozdanovic. Some of the chamber concerts will be played on the piano of the Gvozdanovic family. But the sound of that piano will be the responsibility of this man. Who is he? To find that out, we climb down from the upper town and go to the British Square. Right next to the square, there's an artistic green spot. The park of the Academy of Fine Arts. The original of this bronze door stands at the entrance to the Istrian town of Hum, the smallest town in the world. Art shows its basis in craftsmanship when we see the Academy foundry. But there's a more original craftsman nearby. The Hefferer workshop for building and restoring organs, harmoniums and pianos. Today the workshop is represented by Tomislav Foland Hefferer from the fifth generation of this organ making family. This instrument is a piano from 1905 or 1906. It was built in the Belgian piano factory Gjors und Kalmen. Soon after, the Gvozdanovic family bought the piano from us and set it up in Visoka Street. They started the restoration to get it back in shape for the concert season. 
Most of the work is mechanical. My colleague is working on the hammers. The piano keys contain lead balances and the lead has rusted. This broke apart the structure of the wood, so we had to remove the old balances, put in the new and restore the structure of the keys. Since Miss Gvozdanovic was a pianist, the piano was used a lot, so now we polish them to get a better quality of sound and tone. We must also temper the piano to work better. The repairs have taken a couple of months. Soon, this piano will re-sound through the salons of Anka Gvozdanovic.